This video is to help you understand what is Bitcoin and what is BitClub Network all about. We could spend hours explaining, but we will give you the basics over the next few minutes. The most important thing here is to educate you all about Bitcoin. So what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the world's very first digital decentralized cryptocurrency. Bitcoin actually uses the internet to send money or value directly person to person anywhere in the world without having to use any centralized entity like a bank, PayPal, or Western Union. And it's completely safe. It's anonymous, super fast, and it works anywhere in the world. Anybody can use Bitcoin. There are no qualifications, basically no fees, no chargebacks, and no borders. It really is the future of money. So who uses and accepts Bitcoin? Actually, there are millions of people that are using Bitcoin, and you can use Bitcoin to purchase almost anything you can think of. There are hundreds of thousands of businesses that accept Bitcoin. You can pay for plane tickets, hotel rooms, electronics, cars, coffee, and anything else. If you can think of it, we can show you where you can get it with Bitcoin. Another huge market that Bitcoin impacts is remittance. That is money being sent to friends and family from state to state and country to country all around the world. Most people don't realize that between $600 billion and $1 trillion get moved around the world every year. The way we are all used to doing this is through banks, PayPal, and companies like Western Union. All of these entities charge fees and we have to trust them. Western Union, MoneyGram, and other companies like them charge from 5% up to as much as 30%. On average, it's about 10% worldwide. That means we are talking about fees of $60 billion to $100 billion per year. With Bitcoin, everyone has access with no approvals needed. A typical Bitcoin transaction has a fee of about 2.5 cents. This is an absolute game changer. Most people don't know that only about 1.5 billion people have a bank account, a Visa or MasterCard. That leaves about 5.5 billion people that don't have access to any type of banking. All of their assets are in their home. If there is a robbery, a fire, a flood, a typhoon, or anything else like that, they lose everything. And did you know that more people have cell phones with internet than there are people with running water and electricity in their homes? All of these people have no way to protect their assets, and they can't do commerce through the internet. Now they can with Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin isn't owned or controlled by any person, government, or company. There is no central entity that powers Bitcoin, but there needs to be something that powers it. It's actually powered by thousands of people that have specialized computers that power the network, secure the network, and verify transactions. This is called mining. The big question is, if there are basically no fees, why would people spend huge amounts of money on computers and electricity if there is no money to be made? This is where we can all cash in. On average, every 10 minutes, a new block of Bitcoin is created and given to someone that is mining. In the beginning, it was 50 new Bitcoin being created every 10 minutes. After 210,000 blocks, which took about four years, it dropped to 25 new Bitcoin per block. After another 210,000 blocks, which should be the end of July of 2016, it will drop to 12 and a half every block. And it will continue to have about every four years for the next 125 years until 2140. At that point, there will be 21 million Bitcoin, and no new Bitcoin will be produced from that point on. So, Bitcoin will always be rare. Bitcoin started January 3rd, 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto. When it launched, it had no value. It wasn't actually about money. It was about providing the idea of can we do a transaction without needing a third party, and can we have a decentralized form of money that anyone, anywhere in the world, can use with basically no fees. At that time, there were only a few people involved in mining. They were collecting all of the new Bitcoin every 10 minutes. Then, on May 22nd, 2010, the first transaction happened. 10,000 Bitcoins were offered for a pizza. When that happened, all of a sudden, Bitcoin had a value. Then demand started, and more people started asking to buy Bitcoin, but the people that had it didn't want to sell it so cheap. Remember, Bitcoin is rare like gold. At that point, people started offering higher prices to buy it. It actually took over a year and a half for Bitcoin to go from being an idea to being worth 10 cents for one Bitcoin. At the time of this video being made, it's been five more years and the price has gone from 10 cents to about $240. That is a multiple of 2400. Five years ago, if you would have bought $1 worth of Bitcoin, you would now have $2400. 
if you would have bought $100 worth of Bitcoin, you would have had $240,000. Over the past five years, Bitcoin has been the greatest investment in the world that we know of. A lot of people think those days are over. They are wrong. Here's why. Right now, there are only about 10 million people that have a Bitcoin wallet. We are talking about a technology that has the potential to be bigger than the Internet with billions of people using it. The Internet is used by everyone now because it's easy. 25 years ago, it was actually very complicated. Now there are thousands of companies like Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Gmail that make it easy to use. Billions have been invested in these companies. Bitcoin is the same. Five or six years ago, it was very complicated to use Bitcoin. But now there are over 1,000 companies from around the world that make it easy to use. The smartest and richest people in the world are investing hundreds of millions of dollars into Bitcoin companies to make easier for the masses to use. This is why we are still in the beginning of this Bitcoin revolution. In the past few years, hundreds of millions of dollars has been invested in Bitcoin startup companies. In 2012, about $2 million was invested. In 2013, $95 million. In 2014, $361 million. And through September 2015, already $456 million has been invested. That is over $900 million in the past three years. Here are just a few of the people and businesses that are investing in Bitcoin companies. Bill Gates, Sir Richard Branson, the New York Stock Exchange, Goldman Sachs, USAA Bank, BBVA Bank, the guys that started PayPal, eBay, and Google. Also, MIT University is very involved with Bitcoin and its underlying blockchain technology. Here is where the magic happens. Imagine you have a certain demand for gold, and that month, that much gold was mined. The next month, the demand stayed the same, but half as much was mined. The price would skyrocket. Here is a picture of the daily transactions. This shows the demand and what is happening with Bitcoin. Demand is rising, and yet the amount of new supply is going to be getting less and less. Of course, that means the price has to go up over time. So far, there have been over 14 million Bitcoin created with a value of over $3.5 billion. All of it went to people involved with Bitcoin mining, and it's not going to stop. Here is why people are joining BitClub Network. Most of those smart, rich people that are investing hundreds of millions of dollars believe the price will be over $10,000 for one Bitcoin in the next three years. If you just buy Bitcoin and sit on it for the next three years, I think everyone believes that it is an awesome investment. Remember, over the past five years, it has gone up by a factor of over 2700 To go from $240 to $10,000 is only going up by a factor of 41 If you join the BitClub Network Mining Pool, instead of just buying Bitcoin and holding it three years from now, you will probably have two to eight times more Bitcoin. So let's say you were going to buy 15 and a half Bitcoin as an investment and the price went to $10,000. You would turn about $3,600 into $155,000. But if you take that same amount of Bitcoin and put it into mining with us, three years from now, you could have 25 to 100 Bitcoin. And if the price went to $10,000, you would be sitting on $250,000 to $1 million. Remember the pizza. That was a $25 investment that turned into $2.4 million. Don't be left out of this. It's real, and it's working for 100% of BitClub network members around the world. There is so much more in the world of Bitcoin that we don't have time to explain now. There are many different revenue streams that our members will be able to profit from, like Bitcoin ATMs, a payment platform for businesses to accept Bitcoin, and we are launching our own coin that we only give away to our members, and we are creating demand for it to make the price go up over time the same as Bitcoin. Big Club Network has huge potential. Don't miss it.